Hey there, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you 3D Max. But before we get start, make sure that 3D Max is a big software and nobody can teach it and nobody can learn it in one video. But in this video, I'll try my best to uh, cover all the basic stuff you need to know while starting on 3D Max. So, first of all, uh, we know about the software that what we can do with the software when we learn it. So 3D Max is a 3D modeling software from Autodesk and uh, uh, this software is used to basically uh, model anything like you can model car, you can model furniture, you can model buildings and uh, you can also animate the things. Like uh, you can you can see there if we can model anything we can model uh, robots we can model animals we can model uh, airplanes and cars and uh, everything and uh, we can also model character and uh, we can also rig them like we can also animate them like uh, we can make them run we can make them eat we can make them fight uh, so all the movies uh, like Disney movies you are uh, you see in the uh, on the internet on the TV all these movies basically. Uh, use this type of software to model things like uh, we can search here how to train your dragon like you are seeing in this movie that this character is also uh, modeled on the software like 3d max and uh, after modeling that they rig uh, the character and they animate the character and they uh, put all the stuff in the background like trees uh, they make environment on uh, the software like grass mountains trees and lighting shadows and after rendering that they came out with a movie and this software also used in construction like uh, You can also model 3D uh, buildings here. Uh, this uh, can also be used in architecture. If you are a civil engineer, you can use that to model your models like uh, building models, road, flyovers and anything else. So let's uh, jump into the software. Here I'm using 3D's Max uh, 2012 and uh, you can use any version. Uh, probably all the versions are same. So as you see there uh, software is open in front of me and uh, we have uh, four views here. Uh, this is a lay basic layout of software and we have this view, this is perspective view and this is front view and this is top view and this is left view as a software named 3ds max. So uh, everything we can draw here, we can model here is in three dimensional. So top, bottom, uh, top, front, left and perspective view. And uh, on the right corner of here, uh, we are seeing the panel uh, having the basic shape which 3ds max provide us to draw like if we click on the box and uh, click in the perspective mode and drag it and when we release the click and drag it again and we click again so we have successfully made a cube and uh, we can see this cube from front view here we can see this cube from top view and we can see this cube from left view uh, so if we want to work only on one view so we, we can click on that view and we can click on that button here maximum viewport toggle so we can maximize that window uh, which we want to work on so if, if we click again on maximum viewport we can zoom out it and if we can, if we want to zoom in in front view then we can and zoom out so if you press F3 then we came in realistic mode and if we press F3 again we came in wireframe mode in wireframe we can only see the border of the model and uh, in realistic mode we can see the colored model F3 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 so if we jump into the uh, perspective mode so from the mouse toggle button we can zoom in and zoom out and by pressing alt and pressing toggle button we can move around the model we can see the model from bottom from top from right from left and any perspective angle and we can zoom in from the scroll button and we can zoom out and if we click on scroll button 
and move our mouse, we can set the position of a camera. So, if we press F, we came in front view. Uh, these are short keys basically. If we hit top, T. And uh, if we hit B for bottom, L for left, R for right, and P for perspective. I usually prefer to use perspective mode unless uh, I have to do something with front and left. So we now we know that uh, how to draw any shape like uh, here's a cone, here's a cylinder, a pyramid, and a teapot. So we have five models here and we can move around it. So what if we want to arrange the position of these models? So for arranging the position, we use these three tools, select and move, rotate and select and uniform scale. So if we click on select and move and select this object, we can see uh, three dimensions here, X, Y and Z. X is a red color. Y is of green color and Z is of blue color. So if we hold X, we can move this model in X axis. And if we hold y, uh, hold y, we can move this model in Y axis. And if we hold Z, we can move this model in Z axis. So now we are familiar with the basic interface of 3D Studio Max. Now let's move forward. Let's delete these objects by selecting them and press the delete button on keyboard. Delete, delete, delete and delete. Now let's try to make any object with the help of these pre-made objects. Uh, like uh, uh, let's try to make a table. So let's select a box and uh, make the desktop. So as you're seeing, we have a cool desktop and we select the select and move tool and make this desktop a little upward. Now make the legs of the table. And uh, go to top view by pressing T on keyboard and press F3 for the grid view. Let's zoom in and place this at the place. Now go on the front view and select that select and uniform scale and make the height of this leg a little bit smaller. Now go to perspective view and we have a nice leg. Now we have to copy this leg and uh, again go to top, press F3 select the select and move tool and press shift and then drag this leg to the another place and we can leave this quantity to one if we increase the quantity then we have more copies let's one two three four five six let's make two copies right here so it makes two copies one and two so now we don't need this copy so delete this now go to perspective view again and now we have three legs here. Now we require three more legs. So again go to top view, press F3 and again press shift and by holding shift we can drag this, these two legs and we get another copy of these two legs. Now we have a pretty cool table. Go to perspective view and now we can see our table here. But the color of the table is not suitable as our table uh, are, is usually made up of wood and uh, wood is not of green color or pink color. So we have to put the material, uh, a material of any wood. So we go to Google and type here wood material and on the images 
and select any one of them from here like this and we can save it here at my pictures and go to 3ds max again and click any object on which we have to apply this material and press the M key on keyboard so by pressing M key uh, we have this beautiful slate material editor and from that we can change the mode from compact material editor so now we have all the material set as default to gray so by selecting on any one of them uh, we click uh, as none and we click here on the bitmap and on the bitmap we go to the place where we have uh, save our wood material in uh, libraries pictures and there and open that so you can see that now we have this pretty good material of wood so to apply this material on that object we can hit assign material to selection now we have this material copied to that selection now we are unable to see that because it is uh, we are on viewport mode so if we want to see that material which we have uh, currently apply on that box we have to render and for render we go to the render tab here and click on the render or shift q we have a short key so you can see there uh, we have now a pretty good table with the wood material but the legs of the table are uh, still pink so we have to apply material on them too so we have to select all these legs and press m again and select on that material and assign material to selection okay now we have material applied on our whole table now shift q we can see our table with a good material but uh, it looks very empty and very fake so uh, we can add more details on this table with the help of these pre-made objects so like uh, um, we can add some drawer here like uh, we can make a drawer a box and uh, assign that material to box 2 and go to front view and place the box here and go to the top view press F3 and place the box under the table now make some copies of that box let's make uh, three more copies like this and let's select these boxes and put a little bit on left side now if we render our table our table looks like something like this so if we delete that one and we go to sphere and front press F3 and a little sphere here all right so we are having a good sphere with the purple color so we can change the color of that to black from here and we made two more copies of that okay fine okay we have now a perfect table with the desktop drawer some legs and have a wood material on it so let's render it and check it out yeah pretty good table so let's add some object on the table so it will look more realistic like from here we can get teapot we can draw a teapot here and go to front view place that teapot on the top of the table go to top view and set it on the table right so come to perspective view and here we have a nice teapot on our table let's render it and check it okay so let's add some material on that teapot so it will look more realistic 
press M assign that material and make that material of uh, any bright color like orange and to make this material more shiny and looks more glossy we can change the value of specular level here to 100 and glossiness to 20 now you can see that the material we have here is a, a little bit glossy or shiny so now let's render it and check it now the next topic we have to cover in this video is modifier modifier are basically uh, used to modify an object like uh, in this teapot we can see here the teapot uh, the teapot is not so smooth like the handle of teapot have curve here like this so to make it more smooth we can add modifier here so we can click on the teapot go to the modify tab here and from the drop down menu we can select turbo smooth press t for turbo smooth and click on that so after applying the turbo smooth modifier to the teapot we can observe that the teapot is more smooth right now let's render it and check it you can see the rough surface is now smooth so now let's render it and check it yeah good so next we have to add some objects in the environment of this table so it will look more realistic so we have to add some floor and some wall behind the table so to make floor we go here to geometry and draw a plane go to top view and draw a plane nice and to add the wall behind the table we can use box tool like this so now add some material on that box and that plane so click on the box press M select none bitmap Go to picture and add that wallpaper. Let's apply that material and render it. So you are seeing that the whole image is wrapped on that wall. But we don't need that. We need a tiling system that uh, this wallpaper should be tiled and paste on that wall. So to increase the tile, we have uh, a tiling option here. So we can increase the number of tile to 10. And 10. Now, if we render it, we can see it. The tiles are, uh, I think, the number 10 is too high. Let's make it 5. Yeah, okay, fine. Now it's time to add some material on the floor. Let's take another material, bitmap, and here we have a pretty good material of stone tiles we can apply to the floor again increase the number of tile to 5 and apply that material to floor okay now our scene looks more good but uh, we have to add some light here for having a cool effect so to add the light in our scene we can go to lights tab here we can change this photometric to standard and select target spot go to the left view and add some light now if we render we can see the quality of our scene improves much better so on this panel we can change the properties of light like uh, we can add shadows we can control or increase or decrease intensity of light like 0.8 and when we render we can see a little bit change in our scene i think we we have changed the material of teapot here
let's rename it okay fine now let's increase the size of the wall by this tool now we have pretty good scene now the next topic we have to cover in this video is animation and then rendering so to animate this teapot from here from the initial position to final position we have to add keys to that object so to add key we press auto key here and press this set key button so you are seeing in the time bandit on the zero point the key is set and we can increase the timeline to 50 and move this teapot to animate it and then release the auto key button so we can see that on our timeline from 0 frame to 50 frame our object which is teapot is animating now let's add some camera so to add camera here we can go to camera tab target top view and set a camera and to see the camera mode we can press button C so this is the picture which camera sees so let's go to left view select the camera move the position of the camera to upward and then C move the position of the camera to backward again C okay fine so now we have to animate the camera as well so to animate camera we can select the camera again auto key set key and to the frame 50 we can animate this camera so when we go to see camera mode so we can see here on our timeline the key frame from 0 to 50 is animating animating the camera and animating the teapot as well So now the last topic we have to cover in this video is rendering because without render we cannot see this uh, this 3d model or this video in an mp4 or avi file format so the final part is render this video so to render go to the render tab and render setup or you can press f10 set limit of the range to 0 to 50 you can set the output size from here from custom to hdtv and we can save the location of our file where our video have to save sample table scene 1 file format avi and save and at last we have to hit the render button at the bottom right so we can start rendering and after render we can see or we can play this video in media player so as you can see now our rendering has started and after we finish render we can play this file into media player or we can upload it on any of the uh, platform like YouTube or download on your mobile phone to play this video on your gallery. So now as you can see here our rendering is complete so we have to go to the location where we render the file and we can play this video in window media player like this. So you can see here how we model a table with a teapot and drawer on 3D Max. We animated how we set up a camera and lighting and render a beautiful video. So that's it for today. If you like this video, share this with your friend. And for more tutorials on graphics, on video making, on Photoshop, on game development and programming, subscribe to my channel.